To connect OTG in the Google Pixel 9, your OTG device needs to be a USB-C and then we just plug the USB-C cable of the OTG device into the phone. So if this is a storage device, what we do is we look for the Files app and then if I scroll down, we should be able to see the external storage show up eventually. Now for some reason the storage isn't showing up, then what we need to do is we need to open up the settings and then from our home page settings we're going to look for the storage option and then you're going to tap on this device and you should see your external storage right here if you see your external storage here but you don't see it in the google uh, files app then you will have to format the storage and that will remove all of the files it will wipe the drive so you may want to back it up before doing this but to format, you tap the triple dots and then you tap the format. In here, you also have the eject. It's not available in the files app for some reason. You have to head to the storage settings to eject the drive. You want to do this once you've finished any file transfers. If you're having an OTG issue, which is quite common, and this one, I'm going to eject this first, is you connected the drive, but it connects and disconnects, connects and disconnects. This is a flaw in Android that has existed for years and they don't fix it. So there's a temporary fix, which is you charge your phone to 100%. Once charged, you unplug the charger, you then restart the phone and then the OTG should work temporarily. The second option is to factory reset your phone, but of course you're gonna lose all of your data. Again, this is a flaw with Android. I've seen people report the connect and disconnect issue and I've, you know, it's not a fault with your drive. You'd think it is, but it's not. It's not even a fault with the phone. It's a fault with the software that has existed for years. No one's bothered to fix it yet. And those are the only two options that I found that, you know, get you somewhere.